Oh, tricks as well. I just wanted to quickly go back and show you why I thought this was an amazing event. Um, they actually posted some videos on the arm to Dixon page of the event that I went to go see Trix Play at Mixed Garage. Still got some really amazing feelings and thoughts about it all. I think I looked online and I, I think I left a comment actually on one of these people's posts. I think it must have been this post. Let me see if I can put it up on here. Uh, what are they called? Yeah, they called them Labyrinth Events. They actually left me a, I actually put a comment on there. Let me actually go to it and tell them how much I felt it was a good night. But they actually liked my comment that I made regarding their, their event and they actually put it on and kind of, you know, did bespoke bus lighting. I think I've got it up on here on the screen actually. So Labyrinth Events, um, tickets for Labyrinth Events, they got all listed down. This is what it actually looked like prior to us arriving at the Tricks and um, Tricks Presents with Solar and Mixed Garage. So essentially they kitted it out with lights um, on, a, yeah, lights that were kind of directly beaming onto the disco ball, which is flipping sick. And then they had these amazing LED bars behind the DJ booth that looked really, really great. So an amazing, amazing setup for the club. Really, really cool. Um, and again, something that you wouldn't necessarily do if you weren't in love with the culture, you weren't in love with dance music. And again, I'm pretty sure this ate into their overall profits. It's something that you do just for the love of it. And I really think that I'm going to start doing something similar myself going forward next 2020. I think I'm going to speak to my friend and we're going to hopefully do a thing where I know there's a lot of um, office types, especially those kind of finance boys in Liverpool Street who I think have kind of been blamed with the fact that they're kind of raising the prices of DJ fees because some of those guys, especially if you've got, you know, a high salary, if you put pull the resources together of like five people, you can book a big DJ to come down or to fly over to the UK, hire a venue and essentially sell some tickets through RA and you could possibly make your money back and then put on a really good party for you and your friends, right? And I think I might do something similar as well in 2020 and then have the ability to then be a warm-up DJ for the play people that I'm that I'm kind of booking to come in. And in that way, you kind of put yourself, you know, next to these big DJs. People can see you, hear you, think you're good, blah, blah, blah. But just in terms of just creating an event, that's part of the thing I was looking at, thinking of all the parties I put on back in the day when I used to DJ, when I used to promote, sorry, at, at the Alibi um, and all those other places. Part of the process, or part of the reason why I like doing those kind of things was just the installation Right, putting up posters, putting up um, wallpaper, handing out flyers, making T-shirts. That was the that was the time. Of, that was what I loved doing, man. I absolutely loved it, and I would love to go kind of do it again sometime very soon. Um, but again, so yeah, this labyrinth um, again, super inspiring. They post an actual video of the actual event here. They've got on their page. This might be one of the first the end. You can definitely tell it's an individual guy, isn't it? Look at the lights. Oh. Wow. So good. So good, man. That lighting setup is incredibly, incredibly amazing, man. And then they've got probably another video here, too. Oh, this is God Jansen at. Oh, is it E1? Where was this? December. Okay, man. Amazing. Okay, I'm definitely going to go to that one. The reminiscing of 7 a.m. with Gerdy Anson at E1. We're back with him on December the 13th for the Perpetual with Arm, Gerdy Anson, DJ Tennis and more. Oh, it's in Bristol. Shh, damn it. On the 13th. Okay, wish I could have gone to that one. So I think the next day we're probably going to go to the Innovation one. Oh, probably three different things. Oh, no, we didn't. back home just yeah, kind of the day after, so you probably can't get to get there. You know, that was a cool event. Then the next, so let's go back to the arm thing. So this is basically a video of um, uh, tricks playing at the event at Mix. Video, another one as well. 
Yeah, just something you don't need to do. You know what it reminds me of? Well, it reminds me of the, the beginning stages of like, or the early last week of party days to go to back to the day when we were back in London. Like, they put a real, real, real effort into their production of the show. It's just incredible. It made the difference. It really made a difference. Look at that. Look at the lighting. So the place like Mix, they really smashed it, man. That's so good. So, so good. <laughs> Some video, like so honestly, one of the best nights I've had in a while. That harmony of like the perfect crowd, great production, really great DJs, um, amazing security, great bard staff, like just harmonious relationship that kind of allowed everyone to have a good time. Even the barbacks were cool, just stellar, stellar, stellar night. Man. I love dance music so much, man. I love it. I love it. I love the nightlife. I can't wait to be around. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, I had a video on mine too that I think I've kind of deleted. I think that's what I was going to say. But yeah, so amazing. Man. I really recommend you go check out Tricks if you have to go see him play or go to an intro and YouTube on the weekend. Again, I think I'm going to do this more often, man, going anyway forward. I've already said it before. I'm going to make sure I just, you know, invest all my money, especially on the weekends, to buy more tunes, buy more DJ equipment, upload all the stuff that I'm doing now, and obviously making sure that I'm going to actual DJ events. I think we have reached a point in our, especially in London nightlife um, scene, where for the most part, a lot of people are kind of um, opting to go out on a weekday and go to like a pub or bar and hang out there, you know, places like the Lion and Lamb and just see some, you know, someone like Craig Richards play in a corner somewhere, you know, that'd be amazing. But I think sometimes as well, you can get a little bit, you know, it's good to sometimes remind yourself just how amazing dance music culture is. And just how amazing it is to be in a room full of people that share the same amount of passion for the dance music you have under some amazing dark, dimly lit dance floor, meeting new people, have sharing a drink, having some fun. And I think the better to do it is to go to an actual event curated by promoters who actually give an F about the music and they put their time, their effort, their blood, sweat and tears into it. Because I can't even imagine how long it took to set this all up beforehand, make sure everything's going well and obviously to invite everybody in and have this amazing light show happening in the heart of East London, you know, 20 minutes from where I live. Like, it's an absolute, like, you know, I'm, I'm chuffed, man. I can't say anything more positive about the things that those guys did. And again, I can't wait to go see more of them. And I think in general, we might see this happening more often with Intervision um, DJs. I think I mentioned it my friend the other day i think i i guess that the fact that they've got such a control on how they're presented online um is going to be good going forward we're going to see maybe more images more videos of um djs from individual label uh djing under because if you, even if you scroll down this feed on arm to dixon all the lighting and LEDs things look quite similar. So it seems like they're going to make an effort to make sure if a promoter is booking one day DJs, they have to do this. They have to get this lighting company to do this fitting in there because that's what they want it to be quite harmonious and have kind of a through line, which is quite difficult to do. Think about DJs on labels, even a label like Hessel Audio. It might sound similar, but pr probably production wise, there's no diff. You probably couldn't tell who was playing uh, if it was a Hessel Audio label night, right? But imagine if Hessel Audio had a way to kind of um, kit out the club or the venue in a certain way that when you walked in, you automatically knew it was a Hessel Audio club night. And I'm pretty sure that's what um, individuals are going through. So when you walk into a club, no matter where it is, if it's Corsica, if it's Fold, if it's Mixed Garage, you will feel like you're in an individual party, which is amazing to see, man. Really, really inspiring for any promoter out there. And something that I'm definitely going to try and do going forward, especially in the new year. So yeah, definitely check out Amto Dixon, one of my favorite um, Instagram pages out there. Everything concerning um, individual, everything concerning Armin Dixon, the two main head hunters of the label. But, you know, other artists are on there too. Make sure you check them out, like Tricks, one of my favorite um, up and coming.